So let's work on adding the to-do item. So first let's create a add to-do swelt. So we can go source components, add to-do swelt, and then we should move the markup and the styles. So in this case, we just need the form. We can just paste it right here. And I commented the CSS section, so you know what to cut. And here it is, we need to add to-do. And it's easy also to see because it's complaining these classes aren't being used. So yes, yeah, so we can save that. We can go here, let's create some styles. And that's it. We can just remove what we have here. Let's go back to to do Svelte. Everything looks all right. So if I scroll here in the post, so add to do Svelte is going to take a couple of props. You're going to have an add to do function that takes a to do and updates the to do list. And toggle completed is going to toggle the completion of the to dos, and the to dos amount is going to be showing the to dos count and is going to be reused across other components so we can show and hide marking the to dos as completed in this case. We're also going to use the to dos amount to show the information and options for the to dos item only if there are to do items. So, yes, yeah, so let's keep it simple and define what we need inside to do Svelte and simply pass the props to add to do Svelte. So, if I scroll down here in to do Svelte, we can see what we need to do next. So we can import a newly created add to do from add to do Svelte. I also want to add one more thing. Let's add a debug so we can add a reactive value console log when to do change so we can see what's going on. Then let's add our computed values here, which is going to be to do's amount going to equal to do's length whenever the length of the array changes. And then let's add the methods we're going to need. So the methods we're going to need are generating a random ID, adding the to-dos and toggling completion. So for the generation of the random ID, we're going to create a simple function, which I wouldn't use in production. So get the UUID package or something else if you need a unique ID. But this is awesome if you're working on a toy project or something and it looks cool. So I'm going to generate a random ID and it should return a string and we're going to generate a random id by creating a random number then we're going to turn it into a hex value by passing the radix 16 then we're going to slice the extra numbers we have so i learned about this recently and it, it's really cool when you're know, like working on a project like this so let me show you how this works so if i go here let's open our console and we can see without slicing it how it looks like so we can generate ID like this, but if we include the slice, we can always generate a random ID. It looks way cooler than anything else I've done in the past. So yeah, that's awesome. And that's it for generate random ID. So let's create a function that's going to add the to do. It's going to take in a new to do that's going to be a string. It doesn't return anything, so we just say void. You don't have to specify the return type because TypeScript is smart enough to infer it, but I prefer to be explicit because it can bite you in the future when you refactor a function and then it changes the return type, so what you're not expecting. And TypeScript can save you in this scenario, so I prefer to be explicit. So let's say let you to do. We already created the type I to do. So we need to create an object, we need to generate the random ID. The text is going to be the to-do that's passed and completed by default is going to be false. And then we need to reassign it so Svelte knows what's going on and can update the UI for us. So we can say to-dos and then for each to-do we can spread it and say just add a new one, right? Simple as that. So we can say to-dos. So here are the to-dos and these are to-dos. So we're just going to spread the array to this, and then we're going to add the new one at the end. And that's it. So let us create the toggle completed. The event is going to be a mouse event. And for any of you TypeScript nerds out there, uh, people 
usually struggle with the event and look it up, but really if you hover over your mouse over the event where you're going to use it, TypeScript is usually going to infer it for you and tell you what you need to use. So you don't even need to look this up or think hard about what you should use. Just use your editor and you can know the type. But yeah, we can say we don't want to return anything. And here is the awesome part. I don't even want to take credit for this because I was looking up how other people do to do's and etc. And I was doing some convoluted thing here with the looping over the map values, etc. When the solution <laughs> was so simple when I saw from another example. So yeah, so we can get the checked value from the current target. And for TypeScript, we have to say what element it is. It's a HTML input element. So what is going to be the current target? So the current target is going to be the mark all to do is complete a checkbox, right? So when we click it, it's going to check all the items. And when we uncheck it, it's going to uncomplete all the items. And I'm going to show you that in a second. So you can say to do's equals to do's map to do. And then we're just going to return objects, an array of objects that is because map always returns an array. So we're going to again spread the to do's and then we're going to say completed should match the checked value yeah and that's it so i'm going to show you that in a minute but let's first go here in the section and we're going to add our component i'm going to say add to do toggle completed to do's amount and then if we don't have any to do's we don't really need to even show this markup and the options right so we can say if to do's amount only then show this and we can say you can see where it ends so before the section ends we can just say if yeah and we can save it so if we go here we can see it here we haven't yet added it, the props to our add to do swell but this is what i'm talking about this is going to toggle the completion so here in our function checked what's the current target this is the current target and we're checking and unchecking it, right? So that's awesome. So let's go back to the post. And now we're going to add what we need in add to do swell. So I say here, how are we going to bind the input value of to do so we can clear the input after we submit that to do with handle submit. And the format now submits and reloads the page, which is the default form behavior. So we need to prevent that. And we don't want to show the option to market to do's as completed if there are no to do's. So this is what we need to do right now. So let's go to add to do. Let's add a script tag. I'm going to say language TypeScript. So let's first define the props. So we can say let add to do. We can say export let toggle completed. Export let to do's amount. And I've done types this way, so it's not confusing if you're newer to TypeScript because we can just define the type on the same line here, but this is way more obvious. So you can say type add to do type, and we're really typing out a function. So we just give it the body and we just say the return type is nothing. Same how we did it in to do swell. So we say to do string, then we're going to have a type toggle complete a type which is going to be an event, mouse event, and it's returning void. And we're going to have a type to do this amount type. It's going to be a number. Now we can use our types. Add to type, toggle complete a type, and we're going to say use amount type. And now it's complaining because we're not using it yet. So here is our state for this component. So we can say to do, and then we're going to declare a handle submit function. We're going to invoke add to do. So add to do is what we pass as a prop to this component and it's just going to go to the parent and it's going to pass the to do. It's going to be just a string. Yeah, and then when we're done, we're just going to clear the input field and it's simple declaring it as empty again, right? So for the form, we have to give it an event of submit and then we're going to say the pipe character prevent default and the function should call handle submit. And here we're saying if the to do's amount is higher than zero, then we should show the mark as complete, otherwise there's no point in showing it. 
and then we can just send it here and of course I forgot to do this and as you can see we're almost done but for the input so this is our checkbox uh, mark completed so we have to save for this on click and we're going to toggle completed so let's save and benefit from auto formatting awesome i will be so lost without prettier okay let's see if i forgot anything else yes yeah, so for the input we just need to bind the value so we just need to bind value to do so the value of this input what you're seeing here is right here this and it's going to be bound to to do and let's see so now everything should work so let's go here and i'm always paranoid so let's refresh for good measure and we can already see here our console debug log is working so you can see it right here and then let's add something random let's add one two three four and we can see it's being updated so yeah that's it congrats on making it so far good job